Link for the final project file is in the description. You can download and play around with the scene. The idea for this video came from this scene, from this project, and behance from these owners. Okay, let's go. Open browser, come to all, search for FUI graph, drag and drop this one to the scene, come to graph attribute, select line here, for the height change it to something like 200, also select this close, then go to data tab, change this noise scale to something like 3, change the minimum to something like 35, add the graph inside and extrude generator, change the value for offset and the extrude to 0, come to caps, change this to this option for the density 20 is okay fun as you can see the density of the mesh is high we want to lower it for better performance so come back to fui graph on the graph count change this to something like 20 now it's better add the whole thing inside the remesh generator Add the image generator inside the thicken generator. Change the subdivision to something like 3. Change the thickness to 3. Add everything inside the subdivision surface. Add the cloner to the scene. Add the object inside the cloner. Turn off remesh and subdivision surface for now. On the cloner, change this value to 1. Make these closer to each other. Increase this count number to something like 10 for now. Duplicate the whole thing. Come back to FUI graph. Come here to data. For the siege, change the current value here. Come back to cloner. For the clones option, change it to blend. As you can see, we have 10 different graph with 10 different profiles for its top side. Okay. On the cloner object, add a plane effector. Come to side view on the plane effector, add a linear field here. Change the rotation for linear field to positive Z. Increase its size. Come to parameters, increase the Y value. On the plane effector, come to fields, turn off the color for the linear field. Add a shader field here. Turn on the color for it here turn the value change for it from here on the shader field come to shader here search for noise come to color remap change it to gradient come here and load the preset select something like this one as you can see the color is also changing for the for each of the graph randomly first i want to decrease the number of colors right click here click on distribute nox come back to field select the noise here decrease the global size you can also play with the seat here as you can see we get green much less than other colors so come back to shader field come to color remap and change the position of this nox until you get the distribution you like you can also come back to noise and change the seat for different results. We almost there. Let's add a camera. Alt zero on the camera. Push it back. Change the focal lift to something like 120. Add a new panel. Change it to RS camera. I come to front view. Push the camera up. Also push the camera forward. Display quick line shading here come to side view see what's happening it seems the position difference on this graph are high come back to plane object come here on the effector and decrease this number select the camera push it down better come back to cloner also decrease this value to something like 50. i push the camera up and change the position a little bit come back to plane effector increase this value until you are happy also decrease the size of this linear field push the camera out okay now i'm happy i can come back to shader field this noise change the seed let's also add an area light add a null add a target tag on the area light target target tag here put the null as the target push out the area light 
let's turn on RS render view here let's hit play select this view and on the view tab select use as render view okay we are getting somewhere it is a good idea to save the file for now let's rename it to paper wave live 1.5 okay let's also add the dom lights to soften shadows decrease the intensity okay for now let's pause the render view open browser and the material search for plastic i like this one drag and drop it on the material tab here put it on the cloner object open the material double click here add color use the date color use the data on the preset select color from MoGraph. connect it to color here re enable the render view add the infinite light duplicate the target tag on it push it up turn on render view increase the exposure until you see the effect of it let's turn off the render view for now let's enable remesh and subdivision surface for these two objects in the cloner wait a little bit so for the first time it worked for me on the on the first file that i was working on it but at this file it didn't work i think because of the high processing power needs for remesh to calculate on 10 different objects even i decreased the mesh density but it didn't work so you can keep the remesh off and turn on the subdivision surface let's turn back on our render view here hit on play let's check our lights let's turn off all lights except infinite light as you can see it has some reflection so select on the infinite light we want it just for highlights so on the infinite light turn back the gi value to zero okay turn back on all other lights and that was all for this video bye bye